Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Monday, November 14th, 2022. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's Word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. Today, we remember the Roman Emperor Justinian. Justinian was emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire from AD 527 until 565, when the Roman Empire was in decline. With his beautiful and capable wife, Theodora, he restored splendor and majesty to the Byzantine court. During his reign, the empire experienced a renaissance, due in large parts to his ambition, intelligence, and strong religious convictions. Justinian also attempted to bring unity to a divided church. He was a champion of Orthodox Christianity and sought agreement among the parties in the Christological controversies of the day, which were disputing the relation between the divine and human natures in the person of Christ. The Fifth Ecumenical Council in Constantinople in AD 533 was held during his reign and addressed this dispute. Justinian died in his 80s, not accomplishing his desire for an empire that was firmly Christian and orthodox. As we continue reading the Chronicler's account of the history of the Kingdom of Judah, we now move on to the reign of Asa's son, Jehoshaphat. Asa's son, Jehoshaphat, became king in his place and strengthened himself against Israel. He stationed troops in every fortified city of Judah and set garrisons in the land of Judah and in the cities of Ephraim that his father Asa had captured. Now the Lord was with Jehoshaphat because he walked in the former ways of his father David. He did not seek the Baals, but sought the God of his father and walked by his commands, not according to the practices of Israel. So the Lord established the kingdom in his hand. Then all Judah brought him tribute, and he had riches and honor in abundance. He took great pride in the Lord's ways, and he again removed the high places and Asherah poles from Judah. In the third year of his reign, Jehoshaphat sent his officials, Benchiel, Obadiah, Zechariah, Nethanel, and Micaiah, to teach in the cities of Judah. The Levites with them were Shemaiah, Nethaniah, Zebediah, Asahel, Shemiramoth, Jehonathan, Adonijah, Tabijah, and Tob Adonijah. The priests, Elishema and Jehoram, were with these Levites. They taught throughout Judah, having the book of the Lord's instruction with them. They went throughout the towns of Judah and taught the people. The terror of the Lord was on all the kingdoms of the lands that surrounded Judah, so they didn't fight against Jehoshaphat. Some of the Philistines also brought gifts and silver as tribute to Jehoshaphat, and the Arabs brought him flocks, 7,700 rams and 7,700 male goats. Jehoshaphat grew stronger and stronger. He built fortresses and storage cities in Judah and carried out great works in the towns of Judah. He had fighting men, valiant warriors in Jerusalem. These are their numbers according to their ancestral families. For Judah, the commanders of thousands, Adna, the commander, and 300,000 valiant warriors with him. Next to him, Jehoch Jehohanan, the commander, and 280,000 with him. Next to him, Amasiah, son of Zikri, the volunteer of the Lord, and 200,000 valiant warriors with him. From Benjamin, Eliada, a valiant warrior, and 200,000 with him armed with bow and shield. Next to him, Jehazabad, and 180,000 with him equipped for war. These were the ones who served the king, besides those he stationed in the fortified cities throughout all Judah. Yesterday, we saw how Jesus was the only one who was worthy to open up the scroll on which was written the events of the future. In our reading for today, we're going to see Jesus open the seals on that scroll one by one, revealing what is going to be happening between his uh, ascension and his return on the last day. 
This is going to be presenting in a picture form the very same things that Jesus talked about back in Matthew chapter 24. In Matthew chapter 24, Jesus described for his disciples and for us the events that we can expect to happen as the day of his return draws closer. We will see wars and rumors of wars, famine, pestilence, earthquake, uh, persecution, the love of most growing cold. We're going to see all of these presented in picture form in our reading for today. And it's going to be a reminder to us that regardless of what happens as we get closer and closer to Jesus' return, Jesus still remains in control, and he will all the way until he returns again, which will be pictured for us with the opening of the sixth seal on the scroll. Then I saw the Lamb open one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like thunder, Come. I looked, and there was a white horse. Its rider held a bow. A crown was given to him, and he went out as a conqueror in order to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, Come. Then another horse went out, a fiery red one, and its rider was allowed to take peace from the earth so that people would slaughter one another, and a large sword was given to him. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come. And I looked, and there was a black horse. Its rider held a set of scales in his hand. And then I heard something like a voice among the four living creatures say, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, but do not harm the oil and the wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come. And I looked, and there was a pale green horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades was following after him. They were given authority over a fourth of the earth, to kill by the sword, by famine, by plague, and by the wild animals of the earth. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slaughtered because of the word of God and the testimony they had given. They cried out with a loud voice, Lord, the one who is holy and true, how long until you judge those who live on the earth and avenge our blood? So they were each given a white robe, and they were told to rest a little while longer until the number would be completed of their fellow servants and their brothers and sisters, who were going to be killed just as they had been. Then I saw him open the sixth seal. A violent earthquake occurred. The sun turned black like sackcloth made of hair. The entire moon became like blood. The stars of heaven fell to the earth as a fig tree drops its unripe figs when shaken by a high wind. The sky was split apart like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved from its place. Then the kings of the earth, the nobles, the generals, the rich, the powerful, and every slave and free person hid in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they said to the mountains and to the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of the one seated on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, because the great day of their wrath has come. And who is able to stand? And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.